I'm not a fan of the new default fields feature in FileMaker 17, but I don't think it's aimed at developers. It's really aimed at beginners to make sure new tables are populated with essential housekeeping fields. Those would be a primary key and creation and modification timestamp and account. Let's take a look at the feature because right when you install FileMaker 17, it's working. You don't have to do anything. Just go into Manage Database, go to the Table section, type in a table name, hit Create, go to the Field section, and you'll see all of those fields. The primary key, the timestamp creation and modification, and the account created and modification. Now the reason I don't like these as a developer is because it puts in here a serial number with get UUID. I prefer the flexibility of a serial number, but that's a debate for another time. I also don't like the naming conventions here as either. I'm fine with how they've defined each one of these, but I'm used to copying and pasting them into a table from another one because I have them created all over the place. Or I might have a template that I start from that already has them. So it's really not that helpful for me, but for somebody who's beginning, I can see how it can help them out. But if you don't want these in here, you don't want any fields just like it was at the beginning when you had FileMaker 16, what we need to do is make a modification. If you look over here where my mouse is on the default fields button or popover, you'll see it'll tell you where the default field feature for turning it off is located for Macintosh and Windows. So we're going to go for Macintosh right here and all you have to do is go into that location, Users, Shared, FileMaker, and then you'll probably have to make this folder here. So we'll make a new folder called Shared. And then you can put any file in there. It just has to have that name. So I'm going to go into Text Edit, New Document. I don't need to put anything in it. Just going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to call it defaultfields.xml. Come down here and choose that type right there. Hit save, close it, move it into the shared folder, right, there we go. All you have to do is simply place it in there. Once it's in there, then we can go back to our file. We don't have to quit FileMaker or qu close a file. We just go to Manage Database. I'll go to the Table section again, type in Test again because I canceled the last one. Hit Create, and you notice we have no fields. So that's how you can get rid of it, but some people may want to modify the original file and not just turn it off. So I'll discard those changes as well. Come in here, throw this shared folder away. And what we're going to do is locate the folder where this is stored. Now this is on the Macintosh. I'll show you the Windows in a second. And you're going to have to control click on the application itself and show the package contents. Go to contents, resources, go down to EN you'll see default fields is right there. Now there's the original one. I'm going to rename it to original. And here's the one that I created. I'm going to rename it to just default fields. And what I'm going to do is open this up so you can take a look at what I've done. So I'll open it up with text edit. Make it pretty big so it's easier to read. And it's a bunch of XML. It's not that hard to figure out how to change the names. You'll see that here's the name. I've changed it to underscore KP primary ID. And you'll see stamp create here. And you'll see account create. Now I really don't want to mess with all this stuff down here, but I have messed with this because I don't want to have that get UUID, so I've changed it to a serial number. I've changed all these values in here so that it auto enters right inside this highlighted part. So it auto enters a serial number rather than doing what you know the get UUID. So you can simply uh, take a look at this and uh, you know I'll give this file along with the with the example so you can have it. So there we go. We'll come in here. We'll go back to our file. And you'll see here's the file that I just showed you. So you don't have to you know pause the video and copy it down. It's all right in here if you like those settings and you can copy it. I would recommend making a backup of your original default fields just in case you make a mistake. Now if you're on Windows what you're going to do instead of going to the contents like we did on Mac, you're going to come down here and this is where you'll locate the original file so you can modify it. And again, make a backup. 
you don't want to make a mistake and uh, have to go ahead and reinstall the program to get the original default fields.xml file. Let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens now. We'll go into Manage Database, go to the Table section, go to Test, hit Create, go to the field section. You'll see all my field names are there. And we go into an auto enter serial number just like I like it. So I've changed everything exactly the way I want it. Um, but again, I think what I'm going to do is just ultimately take it out completely. Um, because then if I'm at a client's location or on another computer, I have to have this file you know, copied in there. And that's not too big of a deal. Once you've modified it, once you can copy it. But if I'm at a client's, I have to bring it along with me and, and install it so they have my naming conventions if I'm doing some work there. So I'd rather have it just a copy and paste with FileMaker Advanced. It works much better for me.